Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to download a backup from YouTube using TubeBuddy. And I'll put a link in the description of my TubeBuddy playlist. And I'll also put a link to affiliate link I have with TubeBuddy. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. In this video, I'm going to go over taking that backup and then extracting all of the URLs from it. And I'll go through a couple different procedures there. And I'm going to be doing this on the command line on a Mac. So I'll put a link in the description to my website where I'll have these commands written out. So you don't have to copy them from the video itself. You can go to my website and find them. And I've also tested this on Mac using the Bash shell. I tested on Linux using the Bash shell. And then also on Windows with Windows Subsystem for Linux using the Bash shell. I'll put a link in the description on how you can set that up on your Windows 10 computer. So on my computer, I'm here in the Downloads folder. And I have this file. It's uh, TubeBuddy Backup CSV. So I can type less and then TubeBuddy Backup CSV. And we can look in this file. And it's uh, comma separated. So I'll clear my screen. And the first thing I want to do is extract all of the URLs. So I found this link on Stack Exchange. When I need to do a regular expression, I don't do it from scratch. Other people have already done it. And I don't know that this is the best one, but it seems to work for this. There could be others out there that are more accurate if you're having trouble with this one. So I'll just paste that from my notes and you can get these off my website, like I said. So we have grep-e and the e says we're going to use the extended regular expression uh, here. And then the o says we're only gonna show the matching part. So if I didn't have the O in there, it would show the whole line where this matched. This is only going to pull out the matching part. And then I'm going to put the name of the file, which is TubeBuddy underscore backup CSV. And I can run that. And here we have all the URLs pulled out, as long as this regular expression is correct. So like I said, if you have some weird things, it could miss something. So the next thing I want to do is sort this. So I'll run the command again, and I'll, I'll just press the up arrow to go through my history and show the last thing I typed. I'll type pipe and then sort. I'll hit enter and now we've sorted this list. So you see a lot of YouTube links here. Okay. And if we ever want to get a count of anything, we can just do space pipe WC space dash L and this will show us how many lines we have. So I have 8,586 lines here. So there's lots of duplicates in here. I don't want those. So I'll remove the line count, and after sort, I'll put unique, and it's just U-N-I-Q. I'll hit enter, and this will show us just unique URLs. And this does it, uh, ones that are next to each other. So we sorted first, so they should all be right next to each other, and then it will remove those. So we can do a word count on this now, and that is 2,781. So we had, what, about 6,000 duplicates there. So we can also count, uh, when we do unique, we can count how many uh, there are of each one. So I can do unique dash C, I'll hit enter. And now we have a number there and it says like this one's been used once, this one's been used twice. But if we want to sort this, uh, we could do a sort on here so I can pipe it to sort. So here you see I have this uh, PayPal donation one is 822. My Amazon shop is 822. And my Twitter is 809 and my Instagram is 809. So I'm actually missing these from a couple of my videos, it looks like. So I may want to go in and try and find those and fix that. And then these are some uh, Amazon links I must have. I have a lot of videos on like Synology NAS. Those might be from that. And then you go up here. You go up top and these are single. So these would be like the watch video. So I pulled every URL out of there. So you're going to see the watch video because it was in that file. So I'll go back up here, I'll get rid of the C after unique. So here we have the unique URLs. And now say we want to find just the ones that have HTTP and we don't want the ones that say HTTPS. So we can go back to our command here, we'll pipe that to grep, and then we'll do space dash V, space, and then I'll do quote HTTPS colon slash slash quote. So you could probably get by with just HTTPS, but I'll do this much, I'll hit enter here, and now we've removed all those that have HTTPS. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because I wanted to go through and update all my links to HTTPS, because that's kind of the standard now, and I thought it would be good to, um, you know, people that want that privacy to have it all the way through when they like click a link off this site. So I'll go back up here again, and then I can do word count dash L, and I had 85 that did not have HTTPS. So I can do further processing from there, I'm just going to leave those in for now. You can do it however you want it. So I'll go back to my unique list, and this had, I think, 2,000 in it. And due to the way this sorts, the HTTP will be above the HTTPS. So if I scroll up here enough, 
I don't want to do this all day, but uh, here they are. So you have the HTTP, and you see here's the transition from HTTP to HTTPS. So if I want this in a file, I can go to my command again. I'll do a greater than symbol, space, and then file.txt. And now I want to open the file. You can't do this on Windows. I can just type open file.txt on the Mac and it will open it. Otherwise, you can open it in your Finder or Explorer or whatever, or you can open it up with a text editor. You can look at it using less. So I've created that file.txt. Now I can type less file.txt. And here we have all those URLs in a file. So I could do something with those. So what I want to do is test all these links. I want to look through them. I want to organize them, uh, browse through them. So I thought it would be easy to actually have this as a web page. So I went to awk to do that, and I'm not an expert at awk. I looked at a tutorial and figured this out. So I did write the awk part of this. So the nice thing is that you can just copy it from my website. You just have to modify it for your file names. So I think I should be able to copy this in here and paste it. There we go. So just that fast, it created file.html. So if I look at that, we have a web page, and this is not a um, you know, validated web page. It has HTML at the top and then it's just a bunch of links. It doesn't have a body in it, but I'm not posting this online. I'm using it personally, not a big deal. So I'll go over a little bit of what Awk is doing and I'm not an expert at Awk. If someone has any improvements to this, go ahead and leave a comment below. But Awk starts over here on the right and there's this begin section and we print HTML at the beginning. Then we have the repeating section here. So this is a printf and we're saying print an anchor tag, a print a link essentially. And we want the href to be uh, percent s and that is a string we pass it and then we want the actual text that's displaying to also be that string so at the end here i did dollar sign zero dollar sign zero so that says for every line it's repeating uh, make a link with that href and that as the text that's probably a terrible explanation um, but i'm giving you a general idea how that works so next we go and we say g sub and we say change http to https for that line so that will change the url and then finally, we create another link, and that one is called HTTPS, is the link you click on, and it has the URL that's HTTPS. And that puts it all in a file called file.html. So I'll open up that file. On a Mac, you can just type open. Um, on a PC or Linux, you probably have to double click on it in the uh, Explorer or Finder or whatever. So here we have the file open. And the reason I did it this way is that I have uh, this link, like Anna White, uh, plans. So I'll click on this and it will open up and it says page not found. So what I'll do is I'll search for this URL back in the uh, the main file and find out what video it was on and then I will go correct it. I'll find a new and I already did check that one. I haven't updated it yet but I'll go in and change that to the new link to that project. And then I have HTTPS here. If I click on that it's not going to work because the first link didn't work. But let me find another example of that is here I have Home Depot. So I can click on this Home Depot link and this will pull up the website. And you see it has HTTPS, it redirected for us. So I have that uh, link here, the HTTPS. So I can click that here to test it. And it worked. So what that means to me is I can go and update all the, the Home Depot links with HTTPS and I shouldn't have any problems there. So let's see if I can find another one so this is the North Carolina Transportation Museum. I'll click HTTPS, and usually I'll click HTTPS first and see if that works. And if it does, then I know I can update the uh, site. So this is correct, it worked correctly. So I can update my link from HTTP to HTTPS. So I did have some that actually, when you click on HTTPS, it redirects you to the non-secure site, which I thought was kind of odd. But you know, that's uh, how they did it. <laughs> so you could use this for all sorts of reasons. I can scroll down through here, um, and find links that are you know not relevant anymore. I can remove them. I can add, edit them. I can change them I can put a note next to them. I know one of the businesses is not in business anymore So I wanted to leave that URL there for historic purposes, but I put a little note after it So I just want to make this video so I could show an example of how you can use command line tools uh, With the file and you could play around with these a bit. They're relatively safe to use um, Especially if you're in a you know, its own directory. You're not going to typically overwrite things um, with this. I'm not saying you never would, but um, it tends to be pretty safe. So if you want to combine these differently or do different things or, you know, search for different things, um, if you want to find all the links that had the word dog in it, you could, um, you know, go down here and then do pipe grep space 
quote dog quote and I'll hit enter. I don't have any that have dog in it. Maybe boat. No boat. Well, if I do home, I know I had home there. So here we have the Home Depot lines showed up. So you could search for different URLs in that respect. So there's a lot of things you can do here. I think it's a nice thing to be able to look at all the URLs at one time and look at for any errors. I found errors on mine too. I fixed those already. In a future video, I'm going to talk about repairing some of these um, using TubeBuddy where you can do like a find and replace to fix all your videos at once. So stay tuned for that. I'll put that in the TubeBuddy playlist. If you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.